do you sleep? Uh, do you snore? Do you, well, you don't know. Have you? Oh, do oh you I snore. Oh, you snore. Oh, I wake myself up sometimes <laughs> snoring. It's like. <laughs> Oh, my father was the same. My father uh, used to uh, fall asleep in the living room, yeah. like watching TV, mm -hmm, fall asleep mm -hmm, in the room. Mm -hmm. He would... <laughs> and he would, like, stop breathing. Yes. And then he'd wake up. Right. That's me now. I've turned into my father. What about you? Are you a snorer? Are you a... I don't know if I'm a snorer, but I remember taking the bus, maybe, you know, a long time ago. I had a very long commute uh -huh. from Hadong to Seoul. I would take like a five-hour bus ride. And I remember the first time I woke up from my snoring. Like, it was kind of like... Like that. Yeah. It was like that. Yeah. I was like, oh, my gosh, do I snore? Um, according to family, uh -huh. uh, I don't really snore, but I do talk in my sleep. Yeah. I, I, like, I do that a lot. Yeah. Mm. Do you, like, do the yelling thing? Like, I don't. Yeah. No, I no, do no. that sometimes. I'm, kind of, oh. <laughs> I'm the worst person to, like. Be in the room with. I'm with just kind of like, oh, 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 you know that kind of talking. Oh, like a mumble. Yes. Sort of. Okay. Okay. So the reason we're talking about is this month our Thursday dialogue is going to be about please stop snoring. I can't sleep anymore. Yeah. I so, mean, yeah, this is like a big married problem. Couples. Oh, huge. My grandma and grandpa. Mm. They slept separately. Oh, many couples do. Like, it's just, they're like, we can't. They had to. Mm. Yeah, they have to. Okay. And it's not a bad thing. It's if just the one... snoring. You gotta sleep. <laughs> you have to sleep. Sleep is so important. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, okay, here are some expressions that we're going to cover. If you do something once in a while. Occasionally, from time to time. Mm -hmm. mm. And if you are at your wits end, W-I-T apostrophe S. You are at the maximum. Maximum amount that you can endure. It's like maximum jetting. Yeah. <laughs> you can't. You're about to go crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Grin and bear it. Mm, this means something bad is happening and you're just, you just have to endure. Oh, yeah, Grr. that's right. Okay, let's go ahead and listen to our power dialogue about snoring. Chia, you look exhausted. Didn't you get any sleep last night? Not really. You were snoring all night, and it kept me awake. I know I snore once in a while, but I never thought it was that bad. It's bad, and I'm at my wit's end. I tried to grin and bear it, but I can't sleep anymore. Honey, I'm so sorry, but what can I do about it? I think you should talk to your doctor and see what he thinks. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, please join us on page 26. It's time to look at our power dialogue. Okay, Howard begins by saying, Gia, you look exhausted. Didn't you get any sleep last night? Mm. Our power vocabulary is exhausted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. E-X-H-A-U-S-T-E-D. So this is just another way of saying very very tired. tired. So originally this word exhaust mm -hmm. means to use completely. Mm -hmm. So think of it like you've completely you've completely used all of your energy. Oh, that's nice. You have mm -hmm. nothing left to give. Yes, it's like it's all out. Yeah. <laughs> you're so all, tired. You're it's so tired. Gone. Yeah, you're yeah. exhausted. So extremely tired. Mm. And Gia says not really. You were snoring all night, and it kept me awake. Okay. Because Howard says, did you sleep last night? And mm. she says, not really. Yeah. This is our power pattern. Why? She could say, no. Why not really? So not really uh, is kind of like saying 별로 in uh -huh. Korean here. It's kind of like saying just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Not enough to be like a real amount of sleep. You got it. Not really. Not really. Uh, yeah. Just a very small amount. Yeah, and this is a very common uh, pattern that native speakers use. Like, do you want to go, you know, to the park later on in the evening? Not, uh, not really. really. I'm exhausted. Yeah, 별로 가고 싶지 않아. Yeah, it's that mm. sort of 별로. Mm. <laughs> okay, so she didn't really get any sleep. Howard says, 
I know I snore once in a while, but I never thought it was that bad. Yes. So Howard says he knows that he snores, mm-hmm. but he thinks it's once in a while. Yeah. Okay. So once in a while, if you do it once in a while, occasionally from time to time. From time to time. Not often, mm. but you know, sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Once a week, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe something uh-huh. like that. Once okay. in a while. Yeah, once in a while. Mm. And uh, Howard says, "Yeah, I know I do it mm. occasionally, yeah. but it's not so bad." Mm-hmm. How does he know? Gia, what does she yeah. say? It's bad, and I'm at my wits' end. I tried to grin and bear it, but I can't sleep anymore. Okay, so Gia knows very mm. well it's bad. Yeah, yeah, and I'm at my wits' end. Yes. Okay. I can't is, do much more. Yeah. What is wit, by the way? W I T. Well, we do sometimes talk about mm-hmm. wit in Korean, right? Yeah, wit too. Uh, like mm-hmm. usually, when we're talking about being smart or mm-hmm. joking or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, here, though, it's almost like the end of your sanity. Yeah. Like you're you're about to go crazy. <laughs> That's right. You've tried to do everything, uh-huh. or in this case, you've tried to endure. Uh-huh. Uh, but now you are mentally. Losing it. That's right. Because of uh, you know the snoring doesn't stop. Yeah. So when you are at your wits' end, it it, it has the feeling that you have been enduring. You yeah. have been patient. You have been giving it a try. You try to solve the you problem. You try to solve the problem, and then finally, it's just like ah, I can't take it anymore. Yeah. It's that feeling. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm oh, at yeah. my wits' end. Yeah. Yeah, if you have, if you, uh, every well, night, just having to sleep next to someone who snores. Snores, that's right. Yeah. yeah that'd be and, tough. And also, you know, moms who just have babies and they can't sleep. Yes. The baby keeps waking up mm. in the middle of the night. Mm. Yeah. The, after two months, the mom. <laughs> Not the sleeping new mother, for two months. Yeah. She could be at her wit's at end. At her wit's end, definitely. I have been there. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Now, if you grin, G-R-I-N, and bear it, B-E-A-R, yeah. you are smiling, actually. Mm-hmm. Why, does it, why are you smiling and enduring? What does this mean, really? Yeah, so this mm. smiling here is not a good smile. Mm. It's just... Fake. You, right. Mm. It's a fake grin, but you can't change it. Mm. You cannot try to solve the problem. Right. So you just have to endure it. Yeah. It's just that... Uh, okay, okay, let's get through this. Mm-hmm. It's that feeling. Mm. So you're just going to grin and bear it. Grin and bear it. Okay, and Howard says... Honey, I'm so sorry, but what can I do about it? And Gia says, I think you should talk to your doctor and see what he thinks. Yeah, they have those, like, sleep clinics and things. They do. And they say it's really... A lot of that snoring is caused by sleep apnea. Well, it's a breathing disorder from what I know. Okay. And kind of the the upper, you know, airway is mm-hmm. kind of blocked or collapsed. And so it causes you to snore. Yeah, you like kind yeah. of stop breathing for a bit. Yeah, that's yeah. A, yeah. So it's definitely more serious than just snoring because it's kind of like, and then, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's yeah, sleep apnea. Uh, well, hopefully uh, he can get it solved. I Howard. hope so. Yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and listen to that one more time. Gia, you look exhausted. Didn't you get any sleep last night? Not really. You were snoring all night and it kept me awake. I know I snore once in a while, but I never thought it was that bad. It's bad and I'm at my wit's end. I tried to grin and bear it, but I can't sleep anymore. Honey, I'm so sorry, but what can I do about it? I think you should talk to your doctor and see what he thinks. It's time for Power Note. Please join us on pages 28 and 29. We're going to do a quick review with some of the example sentences. So if we say once in a while, it means sometimes, occasionally. Mm -hmm. And that could be maybe once a week, maybe once every two weeks. It really is just sometimes. Yeah, it depends Mm. on the situation. Mm. It's just once in a while just means not often. Not often. Not never. Mm Mm-hmm. But not often. Okay. Do you like to play tennis, Sam? Once in a while, I hit the ball around with my brother. Okay. That could be like once every three months. Yeah. To be honest. Right, right. Okay. I eat meat, but only once in a while. 
Once mm. a week? Maybe every, like, twice a month. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah.、Mm. I do get the sense that once in a while is really closer to not often. Yeah. Yeah. And it often feels like it's not. Regular、mm-hmm. in the sense of it's not, it's random, right?、Mm. It's a little random,、mm. it's not every Friday,、mm. it's maybe on、oh, Friday sometime, Wednesday, Tuesday, yeah. It kind of moves around. That's a very good point. So it's kind of whenever you feel like it could be, right? Once in a while, right? Yeah, you know, maybe you get a massage once in a while,、mm-hmm. you don't get one every Monday, maybe、yeah. it's just like, oh, I had a really tough week. I'm gonna call my masseuse. Yes, I get a yes,、massage. yes. So if it, if you do something on a routine basis,、mm-hmm. like if you do something on a regular basis,、um, even if it's once a month, but it's the same date, I wouldn't say that's once in a while. Yeah, it does yeah. feel, yeah, it feels a little random.、Mm-hmm. So maybe you go to the Mugoktang, the、oh. public baths,、yes. once in a while. Oh, you do? I don't, no, but as、yeah. an example. Yeah.、Uh, although, one thing that would be a little awkward、mm. is getting a haircut. It would be awkward to say, I get my haircut once in a while. <gasps> so true. Even though, so I get my haircut about every four to six weeks as a guy. Yeah. Obviously, I get、yeah. it cut more often. Yeah. But for some reason. Yeah. Using once that, in a while doesn't work because it seems expected that you would、that's, do it every. That's right. So often, sure, sure.、Right? Like I get my cut. Sometimes I don't have time. My hairstylist is very far away,、mm-hmm. so I get my cut maybe twice or three times a year. Yeah, I mean that is once in a while, but、mm-hmm. I wouldn't say I get my hair cut once in a while. Yeah. yeah. Another one that would be weird is I go to the dentist once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> like it just—it's not like you wake up that day and you're like, I think I'll go to the dentist yeah, today. Yeah. There's usually much more of like a, a、mm-hmm. scheduling involved. Yeah.、Uh, it is less random and less casual,、uh, whereas once in a while does feel a little bit more、uh, just random. Those are good examples,、mm. like when not to use yes, once in a while.、Uh-huh. If you are at your wits. End and it's W I T apostrophe S. Yes. Okay. What's end? It means you are really stressed out. You have no more patience. You are losing it.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. Like you're losing it completely, going crazy about some situation、uh, that is just not not able to be solved,、mm-hmm. or you're trying to solve the problem. Yeah. yeah. And it's just not working out. Well, I mean, welcome to teenager land.、Mm. <laughs> you know,、yeah. like parents are at their wits' end because you'll you'll reason with them, you'll you'll try to persuade them. It doesn't work. Sometimes it just doesn't work.、Mm-hmm. Randy was at his wits' end trying to find his car keys. You search, you search, and you can't find it. How about?、Mm-hmm. Okay, you don't drive. Nope. But there are times when you're at your wits' end trying to find your car. Oh, in、like、the in parking, parking lot, lot. Yeah. yeah. Because for some reason, you think it's on the basement second floor, like、uh-huh. yeah, B two floor, and then it was all along B three. Ah,、uh, yes. And you're looking everywhere, and then after a while, it's like you start losing patience, right? And you're in a hurry to go.、Uh, it's always when you're in a hurry that you so, can't find it. It's happened. Yeah, it's happened to me several times. Uh huh.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, when I used to drive, that was definitely. That happened from time to time.、Mm-hmm. You just can't find it. Yeah, and like it's weird because like I feel like with GPS, like the navigation systems we have, there should be a way for us just to like find it on our phone. You yeah, know, what, like I feel like at this point there should be some way to connect it. How you mean regarding like with like an、space? app? I、ah. feel like our phone should be connected to our. Our car, yeah, to just be able to see it on the map where it is. Like that should be like a very standard feature. Maybe it will be. I don't know. Maybe it will be one day. I don't know. Now, is there anything where you were at your wits end, where you just would, you tolerated a situation and it was like, okay, all right, I'm going to calm down, and then you just lost it. I mean, I've never. The only thing I can think of recently、mm-hmm. is with my dog Simba.、Mm. I cannot get him to stop barking at other dogs 
whenever we're on a walk. Oh, yeah. In mm-hmm. our neighborhood. Mm-hmm. Other places. Mm-hmm. I've taken him to, like, shopping malls. Mm-hmm. Totally fine. Really? It's in our neighborhood. He wants to be the only dog <gasps> within, like, 100 meters of our house. Oh, so it's a territorial thing. I think thing. it's a territorial oh. thing. And I've been trying to get him to just, like, sit and That's- wait as the other dog walks in front of him. Oh. He goes insane. Really? I go insane. Oh. Uh, so I'm going to have to get a trainer to come and, like, okay. watch. Because I've taken him training to other places, to oh. the training center. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I'm at my wit's end with You that. are at your wit's end. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. He's a good dog, but he, he likes territory. Yes. Mm. And Cameron can no longer grin and bear it. No. Which means to endure an unpleasant situation. Yeah. And you, the two-part thing here mm-hmm. is that you have to uh, endure, yeah. but you have to put a smile. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like you can't even complain. You can't complain. Just get over it. Yeah. Yeah. Ow, this sunburn is really painful. Well, I don't have any aloe gel, so you'll have to grin and bear it for now. Okay. Yeah. Too bad. Get over it. Get over it. (laughs) Can't do anything about it. Our flight was delayed by two hours, so we just tried to grin and bear it. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Mm -hmm. You know what really annoys me? What? People who can't grin and bear something. Like, you can't change the situation. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. Well, you're going to have to wait a couple hours. Yeah. Stop, like, I don't want to hear your complaints. But they keep complaining. They just keep complaining. Yeah. I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. You're hungry. Mm -hmm. We know we're hungry. Yeah. (laughs) You don't have to complain about, like, we know. Just grin and bear it. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, let's look at our power pattern. Not really is... Hello. Uh, Hello. Not really. I rarely eat any sweets at all. Mm. I don't like sweets. Ducky. No sugar. Mm-hmm. Mm. Not really. I find the climate there too hot and humid for me. Mm. Eh, not yeah, my you don't favorite. like that place? Eh. Okay. All right. Power vocabulary is the word exhausted. Mm-hmm. Okay. So do check out the definition on page 30. And please check out our power practice section. We have some sentences written in Korean. Try to translate that into English using our phrases that yeah. we learned today. Mm-hmm. Okay, what else should we do? We should also go to Audio Ohakdang. Yes, we should. Pay a small monthly fee mm-hmm. and listen to our voices. Okay, that's many, right. Many, many times. Many, many times. Mm-hmm. And if you want to listen to us live, please join us on Evening Special at 6 p.m. tonight. Okay, have a great day and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.